Hello boys and girls. So we're going to look at some art today. So this companion project that Miss Taylor explained in our English is called Funny Faces and Fabulous Features. That's what we can see on our face. So in art today we're going to be looking and exploring portraits. Now what do I mean by portraits? Well a portrait is your face. It's a painting or drawing of your face and looking at all the different features on your face. Okay, so can anyone tell me by looking at my face? Or you can look at your face in a mirror. What are the different features on a face? Okay, so you've had to think about that, what kind of things we can see on our face. So we could have our eyes, we could have our nose, we could also have our mouth. But we've also got things like our eyebrows, can you see these things here? And we've got a forehead, this thing here. We've also got ears. And we've also got cheeks, these are our cheeks just there. They're usually rosy red, yeah? So they're the different features on a face. So that's what we're going to be looking at this week. And then by the end of the week, when we've built up all our project lessons, you're going to have the skills and learn the skills and knowledge of drawing your own face using a collage approach, or it might be using some pastels, some paints, some crayons, some chalks, whatever you want. You are the artist, and as we know, artists are people that draw or create things. So your job this week will be to build up our knowledge and our skills to eventually draw a self-portrait, which is our face. Okay, so thinking about that, I want you to have a look below. So there is a link below of some pictures that you're going to compare. And I've also put some questions below to have a look at so that you can compare the, po the portraits. Okay, so there's some questions to help you to have a think. Why am I comparing? What am I comparing? Okay, so you can have a chat with the grown up if you've got a grown up, or a brother or sister, or if not, you can just have a think. So there is some things below, but if you haven't got access to a printer, you can have a look at the questions. I will read them. I'll read them one at a time and then you can pause it so you can have a think after I've read the question. So you're going to have, don't do them all because there's lots, so pick one, okay, you're going to have something that looks like this. Okay, so you're going to have two different artists' impressions of portraits. So we're going to compare them, we're going to look at what's the same and what's the differences, okay. And then when we've compared them and had a look at them, I want you to pick one and I would like you to draw it. So you can pick any of them because there's quite a lot below and have a go at drawing them, okay. So... Having a look at this, having a look at the pictures. So you pick one to compare those two pictures on one piece of paper. And I want you to have a think about some questions. So you can click that link below or I'll read them now and then you can pause them. So, do people, or do both of them, look the same age? So have a think. Is one portrait more detailed than the other? So what I mean by detail, does it have lots of different features? So can you see every single little detail, every little bit of that person's face? there compared to that one. Do you think both people are feeling the same? So could they both be happy, sad, excited, nervous? Are they the same? Are they different? Have a think. Are the colours the same or different in both pictures in the portraits? So in this one they'll be different wouldn't they because there's no red and orange in this one but there is in this one. Okay so you're looking at that. How are the people in both portraits similar? So what are the different things that are the same? Okay, so we know the same thing could be they both have eyes and a nose and a mouth. And what are their differences? So what is the difference between these two? So this one has got a white and peach face and this one's got different colored face. Are the features there? Have they got the nose? Yep. Yeah has every little bit of features there. Do you think they were created at the same time? So, could one have been created now and one a long, 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 long time ago? Thinking about them, what, them time phrases, long time ago, a year ago, yesterday. Which portrait do you think is the oldest? Okay, not the person, but the portrait. Which one do you think? Okay, there's no right or wrong, it's your interpretation, your thinking, okay? Are people, are both of them, sorry, wearing the same clothes? How do we know? Are they? Yes or no? And then the last question, which
which portrait do you like the best and why? So have a think. You can maybe write some answers down if you want to have a go writing the answers and then I can see that. If not, you can just have a think in there. Right, when you've done that, when you've compared them and had a think of them questions, I want to pick your favourite and I want you to draw it. Draw in any way you want, with a pencil, with some pens, some felt tips, some crayons, some pastels, some chalk, some paint, whatever you've got at home. You can even do it on a tablet, you can do it on a tablet if you've got that. Whatever you want, it's your impression of the picture, okay? And I can't wait to see your photos.